The Inktober collection from this year is available on my Society6, linked below. All you do is go into my collections, go to Inktober 2019, and there are all the pieces from this year. You get 20% off um, with your order and free shipping, and you can get the pieces as prints or many other different things uh, for really good prices and, most importantly, really good quality. Well. I made it to the end of Inktober, didn't think I was going to make it at some points. Here's the materials that I used, so I started off by using Pro Markers in a varying shades of grey, oh god, <laughs> they're quite good actually, I really enjoyed using them. Um, one end is sort of like uh, chiselled and it's quite good for doing straight edges and quite like textured things and then the other end's a lot finer. Um, they ran out reasonably reasonably early on so I had to get some uh, different ones which were Ergo Ergo markers yeah and they've got they had a really cool um, thin end because it was actually quite flexible so it kind of moved a little bit like a paintbrush so I really like that about these um, and then on the other end they also have a chisel tip so that you could do the same sort of thing so I kind of mixtured between the two until they all ran out I also use quite a lot in my artwork uh, Posca white tipped pens for highlights. I like to draw in a graphic stick and I also use this pencil for some reason the whole time. It's not even a particularly an art pencil. But anyway, here we go. The good, the bad and the ugly of Inktober 2019. Here we've got um, the planning for Ring and Mindless. They're just like doodles and concepts that I had. Um, so I was really excited about the mermaid one, I really wanted to redraw the fairy from the other year that I literally have a burning hate for. Um, then we've got all of, even the simple ones had a little doodle to begin with, just so I knew what the idea was and to get it down. Um, yeah, so all the way up to day 31, and you might be able to see, I don't think you can, um, that <laughs> Some of them changed whilst I was doing it, and that's fine. Just, you've got to be open with Inktober. Try and not stick too rigidly to your plan because life gets in the way sometimes. So here were the first few sketches that I did before, before getting them onto paper properly. So my goals for this year were to improve my anatomy. <laughs> no light box this year, which was, yeah, terrifying. Um, expand my concepts. So less just copying an image straight up as a reference image, more um, blending together different ideas and adding to it myself. Um, three, develop my style. So as you may know, I normally paint in sort of watercolours and um, either biro or yeah, sometimes acrylic, but I decided to have a go at using grey and black and white this year to fit in sort of inky idea a little bit more and um, I really enjoyed it. I yeah I found a new sort of like style that I know I can tap into if I need to do it again. Um, for this year uh, I really want it to be hot on linking my references so if I had used a reference from one of the free sites I was using I made sure that I linked it back to the photographer or the model or her whoever it was. Um, five. <laughs> I forgot about this one. Five. Post on time. Planning and preparation. Well, that's the idea anyway. I think, yeah, I did manage to post most of them on time, if not day late. Um, normally it was to do with illness or it was to do with just not having enough time in the day. But this year I was a lot better with planning in advance in the sense that if I knew I had a full day and I wasn't going to get a chance to sit down and do a proper painting, I planned ahead. I did two in one day and then I had it ready. I only had to press send and then I could go to my lecture or if I was poorly I could just press send and it was ready to go. So I do recommend that as a tip if you are someone who works or you have a lot of things to do in a day and you really want to try Inktober but you don't know if you have the time, just get a few done before time and then they're sort of like your backup ones if you ever, if you ever need to take a day off. Okay. So, going into the actual, I brought myself a sketchbook this year, uh, especially for it because 
Um, in previous years I have just done it on bits of watercolour paper but um, I, yeah, I decided to treat myself a little bit this year and um, get myself a new sketchbook. So here, that's just another doodle of something else there. Here we have number one which is ring and the idea is that it's a fairy ring and there's just someone who's taken off their shoes and they're ready to go around the fairy ring. I think it was backwards and then you turn invisible. I remember reading that in a book once and uh, yeah, I just thought it was a nice one to start off with and it seemed to get quite a good response on my Instagram actually. So I don't draw feet <laughs> very often, but um, yeah, instead of using a reference picture off the internet, I just thought, well, I've got feet, might as well use my own. So yeah, that's based on my own feet. Um, I, I quite like this one, yeah, I, I would say this is a good one. So, day two, mindless. See, I didn't wanna, I, to me, mindless, the first thing that came up was just in that sort of meditative state where all the thoughts that have been rushing around in your head finally get a chance to just give away to just nothing. It's almost like you don't have a mind for a moment. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got going on here. And um, there's just a lady um, floating on a lake, or <laughs> so it would seem. Um, and she's got all of her chakras nice and balanced. And um, yeah. <laughs> so day three, I also really like this one. It didn't turn out exactly as I envisioned it to. I originally wanted it to be a lot more detailed, but I think the size of the piece itself doesn't give much room for me to add detail. And I think this would probably be best if I wanted it exactly how I envisioned it to be done in acrylic rather than pens or watercolour. But I like it for what it is and yeah, just I, I liked the effect that I could make with the pens laying, layering them up on here. So that's for bait. Number four. Okay, so I thought I wasn't going to do much fan art kind of stuff this year, but there was too many, too many good words that l like led straight into such good fan art. So <laughs> this one's just like almost a straight copy of the reference picture. So it's not very leading into my um, making concepts kind of a goal that I had, but I do really enjoy it. If you haven't seen Rise of the Guardian, watch it. It is a fabulous film. It's just everything about like Santa and Jack Frost and uh, the Sandman and the Tooth Fairy and they're so like cool and they're almost like superheroes. Oh, it's just the message behind it as well. It's just, it's wonderful. Um, day five. Okay. <laughs> My sister is very good at finding musicals, finding books, finding podcasts that are amazing and telling me to watch them, watch them, like listen to them, do those, like you will love it, I promise, and I never get around to it. So I finally get around to listening to Hades Town and I was like, okay, I'm obsessed, this is amazing. So this is good old Hades, his voice, I can't deal with it, it's so attractive. He's got like the deepest voice ever, literally, if you listen to on YouTube, why we build the wall, I think that's what it's called, the word was built, so um, his voice, I can't get over it, he's great, I tagged him in it, the guy who plays him, I really hope he sees it, <laughs> even if he just looks and goes, oh that's cool, that would mean the world. Okay, number six, okay, so I'm a big fan of dogs and I got a chance to draw one in this, so here's a husky, uh, it leads quite nicely into me saying that I have just launched um, a sort of side account to Zoe Davy Art and Photography which is Zoe Davy Portraits and um, it, it's solely for pet portraits or animal portraits for commission um, just because I wanted it to be really clear what it was about so uh, yeah I will link that below as well. Day seven okay so we reach my first not really a fan of um, pieces and the original idea was to draw I will pop it here um, was to redraw this piece because <laughs> I hate it with a burning passion as many artists sometimes do with their work um, So I redrew it and I don't know what it is about it I think because obviously the proportions are supposed to be that of a fairy I don't know there's something about it that just makes me cringe a little bit <laughs> I don't know some people like it and that's fine. That's great, but 
yeah, that's my first not a big fan of ones. However, this dude, I am a fan of. Um, I've redrew this crow so many times, trying to get it right. Crows have got the weirdest proportions ever, I'm not even kidding. Um, so I used a sort of skeleton poser um, app on the computer to make the, <laughs> the pose that I wanted um, the Grim Reaper to be in. Um, again, this is one that I would probably like to turn into a painting one day because the white background I'd like it to be dark and maybe like the light just showing him a little bit I don't know but um yeah I'd like to develop it probably this one got a lot of positive feedback and it is a real place I think it's in Ecuador um a swing off the end of the world as they call it and um, yeah you can visit it and go on the swing, go in the treehouse um, and you can see a volcano in the distance somewhere but people seem to really love this one and I, it's quite a simple idea so yeah it's, it's surprising what you think people are going to react positively to and ones you personally don't like and they seem to love and yeah it's interesting. So. What do we have here? Oh, we have Pattern. Um, I think this one's okay. Yeah, it's a bit out there. <laughs> the idea is that we all have habits which are actually patterns that we um, are capable of breaking, but we have to find them first. This sort of like going within and spiraling and looking for the like root cause of it. So it's, it's kind of pretty deep for just the Ninktober, but um, yeah, I put this one together and uh, I, don't, I don't mind it, let's say, that one. Ah, this one. Uh, so, she is supposed to be a nod to Jadis, or um, the White Witch of Narnia, but <laughs> the black and white, in my opinion, makes what's supposed to be icicles <laughs> look like she's been garroted. <laughs> so, maybe, maybe that adds to it for you. I. I don't know. But anyway, they're supposed to be icicles. She's supposed to be cold and that's why her lips are quite... I don't know, it's difficult to put across in grey, black and white. So yeah, that's when I first hit my... Uh, I don't know if this is going to read the way I want it to. But um, it's okay as well. Yeah. Also, this bit of her face, I don't know, it, there's something about it um, that feels a bit off. Like, the uh, reference photo does look reasonably similar to this but um yeah there's something about it that seems quite disjointed and not not a huge fan but hey it's good practice drawing people uh, it's toothless so um yeah if you've not seen how to train your dragon fully recommend it because oh it's, it's it's fabulous it's great i love the story i love the animation and everything so this is Toothless, he is a dragon, uh, you might think he's a baddie at first, but oh, there's, a, there's a story, a hidden story behind it. Um, yeah, there he is. I like that one, it's quite cool. Um, got to really use the darker pens, <laughs> it's quite exciting. Yeah, little, little uh, pleasures in life. Ah, so this is another one that I don't know if it, um, I don't know if I got to, no I didn't, let's be honest, I didn't get to where I wanted to get with it. Um, it's supposed to be um, a burnt out tree and then the fire in the background. Um, I wanted to do something that was a nod to the fires that are going on in Amazon and all over the world due to global warming. Um, I guess it kind of would make a cool sticker but other than that I feel like you need the colour when it's fire, when it's blood, when it's that sort of thing to really get the because you have the associations with colour that come naturally and that this is just lacking in that so maybe I could uh, scan it and uh, well it is scanned, maybe I could take the scanned image and add some colour into it and see if it improves it but I'm not really that bothered it's okay <laughs> now this one is the first time I um, went off, off, um, off grid, I don't know what you would say off plan let's say um, I can't remember, what was I going to do? Oh, I was going to do something to do with a teddy bear having flowers and stuff growing out of it to do with, like, the loss of childhood. I don't know. But anyway, when I got around to it, it's the one that I was like, mm, I don't really want to do that. So I went searching through all my files to see if I could find a reference image that I wanted to draw that would fit into this, basically. And then I 
did this photo shoot with my friend Kate, who this is, and um, I really love this image and I know she really likes it too, so I just thought, I'm not going to tell her I'm doing it, I'm just going to draw it because mm, portraits aren't always my forte, I would say, I don't get enough practice on them, but um, yeah, I quite like how it turns out, it's like a nice, <laughs> there's some bits of it that are a bit cartoony I guess, and that's maybe why it doesn't read properly. I don't know what it is about it, I'm not a very good critic, <laughs> but um, yeah, I like it. Um, now, this is the first day I started to get a little bit ill, and um, I ended up doing it just, um, I just really wasn't feeling it, and um, the image that I got to work from was quite a, quite a powerful one, and I guess it was the background was a, a waterfall and it was quite cool, but in the end I just sort of stripped it back to this guy. <laughs> He, uh, I redrew his body so many times, like he was a very confusing, the male body, it's confusing for me to draw, I always end up drawing women, um, yeah I guess, oh, it's a nod to um, King Arthur anyway, and um, <laughs> here's the secret, this, um, I've, this is when I started putting a piece of cardboard in between the pages because the pens would leak through, and this is um, a piece of pen from the previous one that I couldn't get rid of, so I turned it into a leaf, but um, yeah, I gave him something to look at, I guess, so he's okay. Oh, this is, if you've not played Animal Crossing before, this is Sable, and she works in the, oh, oh my god, what's the word for it? I'm having brain fog this evening. Uh, works in the place where they sew things. Anyway, she's the really quiet one. And if you talk to her at first, as your character, she doesn't really give you many answers, but if you keep trying to make friends with her, eventually she will talk to you. And um, I just really like her. She's groovy. She's super cute. Um, both of these, so Sable and this one, I drew in bed, because I was not very well. Um, this is Meneki Nico. I think that's how you uh, pronounce it, is the good look cat. And... Um, yeah, I guess, I mean, it's all right. I'm glad, I'm more proud that I got a piece of art done on these days than I am proud of the piece of art itself. <laughs> uh, yeah, he, they, he, she is, he's all right, I guess. Um, I just want to skip over this one, really, but I guess you have to um, look at them all. Uh, it's supposed to be Anne Wheeler from um, The Greatest Showman, and I love that film because it's just so feel good. Yeah, let's ignore the fact that P.T. Barnum wasn't really like that, whatever. Let's, let's just enjoy it as a musical, okay? Um, I think the main thing that's missing from it is the whole aesthetic of her. She has pink hair and a pink outfit, and yet it's in grey, so she's not really that distinguishable. Also, I messed her face up a little bit. I don't know, it's not the greatest. It's not the greatest piece of art. <laughs> Uh, oh, also, not a huge fan of this. Would like to skip over it very quickly if possible. It's supposed to be Lucas from um, Stranger Things with his wrist rocket. Oh my god. <laughs> with his wrist rocket. Um, I don't know what happened to his face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the guy who plays Lucas. Like, don't look at this, please. No, no to the last two. Um, but yeah, I looked back and I was like, wow, it really does hinder me when I'm not well. <laughs> I can't seem to draw as well. Um, this one, I can't remember what I, oh, the first, the original idea I had was to draw somebody with their foot on a loop pedal, like sort of like jamming out with a guitar, but I didn't know if that really made that much sense in the end, so I just, again, went through my reference photos, this is my hand from a long time ago, um, and just sort of drew this because I knew that I needed to practice hands because they are the devil and I will face my fears and draw them. Uh, so yeah, yay for drawing hands. Something about this dude is just not right, like his face, it, I, I don't like this one at all. This is probably my least favourite. Every time I see it as I scroll through my own Instagram, I, it just sticks out like a sore thumb and I don't know, I can't put my finger in exactly what it is but I wish it would I could burn it with fire. Um, yeah, he's supposed to be like a pirate dude, and yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Okay, but I had to post it because I wasn't gonna draw it again, it took too long. <laughs> okay, so 
this is coming out. I'm feeling ill. Yeah, starting to feel a bit better now. So, um, this is Helena Ravenclaw. Um, yeah, it's okay. Again, I feel like this would make a good sort of like sticker for like a, a laptop or something like that. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Um, this is. I was really excited about the concept for this one, and I don't think I fully managed to realise it onto paper. I mean, I enjoy it. It's it's cool, but again, I feel like it needs the colour and it needs more of a background, more of a setting. I'd love to do it in acrylics. I think it would be, yeah, something that I'd want to spend a lot more time on. But anyway, it's Medusa holding her own head, sort of like staring at you like, damn, she angry. Um, and I forgot what I was going to do here, but it's sort of like a portal. I don't know. It's a bit odd, but I still enjoy it. Yeah, love, love me some good mythology. This one is a very personal piece and I really like it, even though it's very miserable looking. Uh, it's me, um, you, based on a picture of my own face after uh, seizure, basically. Um, all the different eyes are just supposed to be everywhere. Um, my boyfriend was like, what's the thing coming out of your head? I was like, it's the medication packets <laughs> that I'm taking. Um, and just the sort of like, not really with it. I've got, if you look on the post itself, there's quite a lot of um, description underneath it. But yeah, I'm quite proud of this one. And also it was kind of like being real and being, um, not making too many jokes for once. Oh, it's to represent epilepsy. This is Tasty from uh, Orange is the New Black. And I mean, it's okay. I could just, I feel like it could be better. Um, I feel like I really want the orange. It needs orange in it. So, yeah, sometimes colour. Yeah, I feel like sometimes it really needs colour. I guess it's okay. Uh, I like this one. Again, I feel like it would be a nice sticker. Um, obviously, it's the dark mark. And uh, it's just some... I don't know, some Voldemort followers on and uh, yeah, my pens were starting to run out at this point if you can't tell from the scratchiness but I think it adds it adds to this one like this one here I'm very behind on um, Piggy Blinders so let's not if he's dead by this point I don't want to know okay it's supposed to be Thomas Shelby um, just going for a strut and his fancy coat and his hat and his cigarette smoke everywhere yeah, cool um, this, this little guy, I realised how um, little amount of animals I drew this time round. Maybe a bit sad because I love to draw animals, but um, here he is just clinging onto his mom and um, going for a ride to fit with the, with the theme. This one, um, I feel like it's almost there. Like, let's just sum it about it. Maybe like the facial positioning that's not quite right but you can tell who it's meant to be, if that makes sense. And I think I get that a lot with portraits and I'm reluctant to redraw them because, yeah, I just, I want to get them done and I know that's a flaw that I definitely need to work on. But um, yeah, it's supposed to be Villanelle from um, Killing Eve. Again, another amazing series. I fully recommend it. Um, and I also think the colour is missing from this one as well because she's wearing these amazing blue uh, boys pajamas <laughs> and uh yeah but yeah getting so near the end oh my gosh um this is for catch these are my two favorite pokemon just because they're so cute um yeah that's literally my only claim to knowing about pokemon is they're so cute i want them as pets um yeah there they are jumping out of the thing and uh, my pens were running out so horrifically that I ended up doing this sort of like cross hatching effect just to yeah sort of get around that and I mean yeah I'm trying out new styles by accident the universe heard me it knows what I need and um this is from today uh, I have been quite poorly and um, I really appreciate that I can do art from my room and work from my room and that's why I'm pushing my Society6 pieces so much because I really want to be able to properly make a living from this. Um, this last piece, I did have big plans for it but I just couldn't sit up at my desk properly to paint it so it's just a hand 
but it's nice this time round because I don't actually really feel like full of hate for any of my paintings I'm just really proud that I got them done and um, I gave myself the time to get them done and um, try to create a nice collection for everyone to have a look at and maybe buy if they want to and that's great the likes, the comments, everything is just means the world to me fuels my passion, makes me wanna carry on doing it I'm gonna I'm gonna go now, but thank you so much uh, for watching. I hope if you did an Inktober yourself, you really enjoyed it and you see you can see how much you grew from doing it. So um, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.